This is CBC Music's Backstage Pass. And it's like 90%, I think, our friends and family here, which actually, I guess, is more scary. Tonight, Austra play old favorites and debut its third album, Future Politics. I would say probably most of them haven't seen us play in a really long time. This is Austra with Lose It. In my younger years, music was kind of this um, point of salvation. You know, like music, I, I, would, I would consider practicing the piano similar to what some would say meditation or something. Like I could practice piano for hours and just be like completely in another place. It was very relaxing, it was like very healing.
That was Eustra with Lose It for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Thank you. Led by singer, songwriter, and producer Katie Stelmanis, Montreal-based synth-pop band Eustra returns with its third album, Future Politics. Three albums in, Eustra returns to the chilly synths and expansive vibe of its first record, but with an injection of Latin American warmth by way of electro cumbia beats from Stel Manis' time spent writing in Mexico City. <laughs> this is Austra with the first single off their latest album for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Utopia was written in some ways about my experience of living in Toronto and having grown up in Toronto and kind of witnessing it change a lot. It's just about like seeing art spaces disappear or seeing, you know, so many glass condos going up that just kind of all look the same and have the same vibe. How kind of like sterile that feels and how, you know, it's, it, you can almost feel like a stranger in your own city. with Utopia off its latest record, Future Politics. Go to youtube.com slash CBC Music to watch the full uninterrupted concert. Coming up, the eerie new significance of Future Politics. Yeah, the record comes out the same day that Donald Trump takes office, which is a 
total coincidence. It's just really interesting how the ideas that sort of inspired the album have just taken on a completely new meaning. When Backstage Pass continues. You're watching CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Tonight, we are basically playing a bunch of songs from our new record, Future Politics. It's mostly like our gear breaking down that we're nervous about. We haven't played together for one year, so we're a little on edge. That's why we're all drinking whiskey. <laughs> it's truly a first play live. It's very, very truly, yes. <laughs> Tonight, Montreal-based electro-pop band Austra plays new tracks from its third album, Future Politics. This is Austra with Future Politics for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. The new record is called Future Politics. It's more to me about like the evolution of personal politics. It's more about like trying to encourage people to sort of change the way they think or just think outside the box. It's slow, it's like really like slow and sexy. Um, and I, I didn't like use any Latin beats on the record, but I wrote a lot of songs that are like around 90 BPM, which is super unusual for me. That was Austra with Future Politics for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Now, Austra plays Gaia.
Gaia was one of the first songs that I wrote for the record, if not the first song I wrote for the record. Um, and I wrote that song, really for me, it's kind of like my love song for the environment. That was Austra with Gaia for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Coming up. I just hope that people are able to kind of latch on to the message of the record, which is for me, about looking forward and not becoming dismayed by the obstacles in front of us. When Backstage Pass continues. Welcome back to CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Tonight, electropop outfit Austra takes you on a journey to the future, playing tracks from its latest album. Here is Austra with I Love You More Than You Love Yourself for CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Yeah, the record comes out the same day that Donald Trump takes office, which is a total coincidence. I definitely never, ever fathomed that. It's just really interesting how the ideas that sort of inspired the album have just taken on a completely new meaning. You know, it's like the fact that it's coming out on the exact same day. It's like an album called Future Politics. It's just, it's almost like it's so much more loaded now than it ever was intended to be. I just hope that people are able to kind of like latch on to the message of the record, which is for me about looking forward and not becoming dismayed by the obstacles in front of us.
thanks for watching CBC Music's Backstage Pass. Thank you to Austra and everyone in the audience for coming out and having a good time. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up or comment in the section below. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Hashtag CBC Music BSP to tell us who you'd like to see on next week's episode.